Hi. In this video, I'm going to talk about the differences between terms and conditions. And so these words can be used interchangeably, and sometimes they do get mixed up. But they are different, and we're going to just discuss uh, how different they are. So with a term, right? A term typically encompasses the fundamental aspects of the agreement. Right? So it outlines the key elements of the agreement between the buyer and seller, such as the purchase price, the financial arrangements, payment terms, and they can also include things such as possession and closing dates, the chattels, so the inclusions within to the contract, um, deposit amounts, and you can also work in additional terms and other things like minor repairs or um, you know a furnace cleaning things of that nature something that a seller has to be has to complete or something that a buyer acknowledges the seller is uh, is disclosing can be worked in as a term all right the condition is referring to more or less a contingent contingency something that must be satisfied for the transaction to move forward, right? So a lot of the times you'll see a conditions will be buyer's conditions with the small chance of a seller's condition, but typical buyer's conditions would be something along like a financing condition or a home inspection condition. So the buyer must satisfy those conditions before the transaction can move forward. So in, in the thoughts of financing, they would apply and get approved from their bank. They would have a home inspection with the home inspection condition, be satisfied with the results, remove that condition and move the transaction forward and it can work for both parties as well and there are various different types of conditions that can be done um, I have another video where I go into conditions a little further and so I'll put that at the very end there so that uh, um, if you are interested in learning about the different types of conditions you can kind of read about it there um, so that's kind of the main thing so with a term the contract is well, well finish and complete as per the terms in the contract. The terms just get honored as per the agreement, whereas the conditions will essentially be the deciding factor whether or not the contract will go forward or not. So if someone doesn't remove their conditions, the contract is over. If they do remove their conditions, then it goes forward and then has to complete all the terms, if that makes sense. So um, I do want to note, though, that with um, the specifics to terms and conditions, um, they are, are very much the same, but they can be very different in the region that you're in. So if you're not um, taking in this information from the area that I'm in, in the province of Alberta, Canada, then uh, the information could be a little bit different. So just discuss with your realtor or uh, or your lawyer um, if you need more details um, kind of on that. So, so hopefully that kind of sums it up a little bit in, in the best. Uh, let me know if it didn't or if there is any further questions, um, just so I can kind of work on that a little bit more. Um, but that uh, hopefully gives the gist of the information there. So thanks very much for watching.